Today I want to show you an amazing technique on how to match colors of multiple pictures in Affinity Photo. Now there are tons of ways to do so, but in today's video I want to show you how to do this with a certain adjustment layer which is called a gradient map. Are you ready? I am, let's go! Alright, so we are in Affinity Photo and you can see that I have opened two images. Um, one image is of this couple and the other image is a background, yeah, just this beautiful lake. Now, I want to blend these two images together. So I want to make a composite. So I already masked out the sky, which was pretty easy. And I've added a depth of field blur to the background so that it actually looks better and yeah, matches the foreground a bit better. Now, this photo looks pretty cool already, but there's something off in this image. And yeah, that is the color. So let me actually show you. You can already see that in the background you see quite a lot of blues and in the foreground it is pretty red. But we can exaggerate this a little bit so I'm going to create an HSL adjustment layer by pressing command U. And I'm going to increase the saturation a whole lot and now you can see that the background is pretty bluish and that the foreground is pretty um, yeah, orangey or reddish let's say. Now there's a very cool way to fix this and of course there are multiple ways but today we're going to do this with a gradient map. So let's um, select a couple layer and we're going to go to adjustment layers and scroll down a bit and there we go to gradient map. Now what a gradient map basically is, it replaces the shadows, the midtones and the highlights with a specific color. So as you can see, everything that's red are shadows, everything that's green are midtones and everything that's blue are highlights. Now what we want to do is we want to focus on the background because we're gonna steal the colors of the background. So I'm gonna hide my couple layer for now. I'm gonna um, activate my gradient map and I want to make sure that I select the shadows of the background. So let's see, the red are the shadows, so right over here are shadows, right over here are shadows. So I'm going to disable my gradient map. I'm going to select, um, yeah, the reds, let's say. And I'm just going to um, color pick somewhere around here, let's say. So um, to select it, I have to click this color again. And there we go, now I've selected it. Now let's see where the midtones are. So the midtones is where everything is green. So right over here and here in the back. So let's disable the gradient map once again. Click the midtones, go to color and color pick. Yeah, let's say from this area and then click the color right over here. So now we've got the midtones. Now we want to have the highlights. So let's check again. Where are the highlights? The highlights are in the, in the sky and in the water. So I guess we just pick highlights from right around here. So let's disable the gradient map once again and select the highlights from right around here. Now, if you want to skyrocket your affinity photo skills and you want to create fun photo composites, then I highly recommend you to check out my workshop, Pouring Photos to Awesome Art, in which we are going to create this image right over here. I will give the workshop live twice and we will follow up with a Q&A. So if you want to be there live, make sure to grab your ticket right below. All right, let's get back into the tutorial. All right, so there we have our gradient map and now we can actually um, show our couple layer once again. And let's close this one. So if I would activate the gradient map right now, it would affect all the layers below because the gradient map is on top of everything. So let me show you. Um, now you can see that all the shadows are bluish and all the highlights are more light blue and the midtones are this, yeah, I don't know what it is, like a turquoise um, blue kind of color. Um, but I want this color or this layer only to affect the foreground because we want to match the background with the foreground or the foreground with the background, I should say. So I'm going to clip this one to my couple layer. And now you can already see that it, yeah, it matches, but it looks very weird because he doesn't have, or they don't have skin tones anymore. But let's see what happens when we change the blend mode from normal to soft light. And there we go. So you can see that it already matches a whole lot better than before. Now we can play a bit with the opacity if we want to, because we maybe want to keep some reds in the foreground. But you can see the before, it looks pretty red. And the after, now it blends a whole lot better with the background. Now we can do our check. So we've got our HSL adjustment layer at the top right over here. 
Now uh, let's activate it and now you can see that the colors match a lot better before it looked like this. So there was a lot of red in the foreground and a lot of blue in the background. So not really matching. But now we activate our gradient map and now you can see that in the shadows there's blues, the midtones are green and the highlights so his cap and the t-shirts are lighter blue just like in the background so now you know how to color match multiple pictures but if you want to learn how to change the color of a specific subject and i highly recommend you to check out this video